Nicole Eiselman seems very important to you in terms of yes. no limits, in terms mm -hmm. of colors, in terms of representation of the body. Mm -hmm. So what do you say? She, Nicole is, uh, for, for us is uh, like one of the artists that uh, she don't uh, have any limitation and borders uh, uh, in the mean that uh, in the medium, you know, or she's a you do painting, sculpture, collage. If if in the middle of the painting, she, uh, the painting needs a collage, she stick the painting. You know, she 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 paper, she, on paper the, yeah. and just stick the paper on the. Yes. On the, uh, and what else? Yeah. In terms of no limits, it can be very no, sexual, right? Like, re re the redefining the body also. content wise, yeah, the transgression in her work. You know the way that she, uh, you know, go. Uh, to you know, uh, conquer the uh, boundaries of morality in her work and the courage, and I think she's doing. Uh, you know, she's she's a master. You know, ma as a you know, in terms of the um, you know, old masters. She, she she's not so old. She has this mm. quality. You know, the, uh, her painting. Ah, uh, really? Because it's kind of uh, trashy, you know. Of course, yeah, the transgression in her yeah. work uh, from make it, you yeah. know, make it uh, for a, a picture for the 21st century, you know. And the body uh, that she introduced, the, the private life of the figures is, uh, for me, is like a very... And you happened yeah. to meet her? Did yeah. you meet her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. During well, uh, first we were supposed to also do a show together yes. in Dubai, but it never happened. Yeah. So far, yeah, uh, during the uh, car, we had the chance to meet her during Carnegie Carnage International. Carnegie International, yeah. 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 13, yeah. 13, yeah. 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 And then she came to our opening in New York. Yeah. So we so met there again. And then some, and then you know, emails. A couple of emails. And I think she's uh, also, she's a very influential figure in terms of the, you know, the new painting, you know. It's very important in that time. And, uh, Never compromised, you know, she just, Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of blood too, in her work, no? Uh, what is a natural, a, a naturally yeah. comes out blood, like, yeah, a, like a, yeah, femin a feminine... Period. Yeah, period, yeah. yeah. Which has become like a it's nature. It's not coming from know, the wound, but it's like coming yeah. from the... And it's interesting, blood. it's related to your fascination for feminine artists. Yeah, you know, Fem the way female that, artist. Yeah, we never think about, we never divide, but actually the works that we uh, you yeah, know, attracted on us is yeah, mostly when, when woman. When we look back, you know, like because we 25 live years them, yeah. that we are collecting artworks, mostly. it's like, and now we are, we're looking back, it's the, mostly the female artists. Yeah, because we never go with the, you know, on the, um, uh, we all the time the looking at the, yeah, we never uh, yeah. looking at the mainstream, you know. So we trying to be wise. We try to to, uh, to acquire a piece or find uh, for our collection is to you need to be wise. You need to be a little bit radical and you know find the um, wise being not wise, right? Yeah. yeah. Hmm. yeah. Karen Carnes. Why is it important? We got to know uh, know her works. Uh, we got to know her works uh, through the exhibition in IC Boston during our show at, at that museum. And uh, so it's uh, their activity in the Black College Mountain uh, gets uh, we get excited because it's a little bit uh, we got a simple, uh, like similar a similarity, similarity between our uh, practice and their practice so so also, there's a, an idea of community right yeah so um the karen carnes as herself when she attended uh, black mountain college she attended it because she was also supposed to teach uh she attended uh classes also by Shoji Hamada who mm -hmm. inspired her work a lot for later uh, in in years but herself uh, after after when first we, we saw her work and we got interested in her work we started kind of researching about her and we saw 
there's so many similarities. You know how she she was very much inspired by her parents as uh, the, as she was a child of immigrants uh, flying from. I think from Poland to, if I'm not mistaken, maybe I'm not right, but yeah. she, she moved to the US from a Jewish family and uh, was very much in, inspired by her parents because they were working a lot in uh, community. small communities mm -hmm. and living within small communities. Even uh, at the time when she moved to North Carolina with her, at the time with her husband, she moved and her husband, she moved Okay, with but John what Pierre I mean, it, yeah. But what is interesting is your community. In our community. You have a community. You yes. you all do together, right? No, really. Yeah. I'm with the other, um, artists, other people, you know, artists. And the other people. And why the community is important? Uh, being together is important. Why? You know, because uh, you have... The from, protection you receive from others, yeah. the exchanges you get from one another. And when you, you know, as an artist, when you uh, work... Uh, when you create the work, you already, you know, when it, when the work is finished, you have already three critical or four cre uh, critics before the uh, coming before out it, from the yeah, from reach the studio, to the yeah. new audience. You know, mm. yeah, but you already think, have these kind of critics. So but uh, so, so one, but one of them is the, is we the, know that the artists are very individual. There's an idea an idea of individuality. Yeah, and you uh, are destroying it working three of yeah, you together. Think, uh, you know, for uh, you know, we are trying to redefine the art uh, and artists ter artist term uh, in the twenty first century. You know, maybe in twentieth century you you have this individuality and the discourse of the artist as an individual higher being. But uh, you know, we trying to redefine. And uh, you know, find a new criteria for our time. You know, then uh, as a, you know, how you can. But you live entirely our... together, right? Yeah. You work and live together. Yeah. Uh, even you know, we have mm -hmm. the same. Uh, you know, uh, uh, we share accounts. You know, we share bank, account. bank yeah. accounts. But you Everything. have you have private Everything. life together or private life separate? Uh, it's separate, yeah. We have our own, you know, individual space. We also have our individual yeah. practices. And we individual. have our collective practice. Yeah. So there is, it's well, very everything is fluid. Like the weave together. So mm. during these. Uh, and hours. and I think this is actually a part that we go back to. If we go back to Karen Carnes, that Black Mountain College actually had the same mission. That's why a lot of great artists came out of it. Yeah. Because when you would go to Black Mountain College, there, you, a lot of times you wouldn't. The, the uh, position of the student and teacher, it would always blur, you know, there was always this, uh, there, there wasn't, you know, at the same time that Karen Carnes was teaching, she was also a student. So you would like to create a Black Mountain College in Dubai? I mean, a community. A I new think one, yeah. Maybe a new, 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 new term. You know, too. maybe our, uh, new our model, way yeah. of yeah, life is... Uh, uh, we are looking for, uh, you know, the Black Mountain College is a reference, is a, one of the references, yeah. Perfect. And another thing that I can uh, talk about, uh, the uh, works of Karen Carnes, which is, uh, you know, we found it amazing, is this uh, idea, this blurring uh, the lines between the functional object and also uh, art, between the, uh, you know, beautiful mastery of the symmetry and unsymmetry between the nature and you know something like a culture you know as a you know something that Which belongs to the human yeah, relates to like the vessels okay mm. yeah. thank you monsieur <laughs> there's a wonderful piece by annette messager here yeah. so the relation to your work obviously is about assemblage and mm -hmm. kind of post surrealist spirit so you, we look at ourselves as a, you know, uh, we usually call ourselves creature with the uh, multiple eyes. So it's a, it's come from the idea of the assemblage. We're looking at our trial like a, um, uh, it's body assemblage, assemblage, body assemblage, body assemblage. Body assemblage. Body. and the, uh, you know the uh, one of the main uh, uh, practice, I would say, uh, the our strategy uh, of yeah, our practice. concentration mm -hmm. is. Uh, uh, is based on an assemblage and uh, 
uh, we actually we came up with terminologies for that. Yeah. It came. We we are calling Daskov. Daskov means a machine, which we use that in order to, uh, like for example, work on a painting on a floor. Uh, so they become like a yeah. painting machine. And and some of uh, mostly the, our project is start with assembling people. Assembling uh, ah, people and then and object. And There's a lot of everyday yeah. object so in your from work, different, right? Different uh, fields of art or life is like a yeah. assembly, yeah, yeah, like a, body uh, assembly, and then start. And so, why did you buy this Annette Messager? It's so also it's, about childhood. Most of the pieces that we uh, collect is kind of related to our uh, projects and practice. And this so, one. Uh, and this one, you know, the objects that, uh, you know, they can contaminate, like a um, pencil. Or making a trace. Like making a, a trace. Uh, the, it's uh, like a machine that making a... Uh, there is a performativity yes. into yeah. the work, yeah. you know. The body yeah. parts, like a hands and the gloves. And also the uh, face of the children, which is deformed or they are, um, uh, they are like a, making a funny faces or uh, it's not uh, they are not in the uh, you know kind of uh, innocent cute, yeah. uh, or cute mood they are in 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 their silly uh, expression of their yeah. life you know yeah. their ex uh, existence you, you but so for us it's kind, uh, kind of uh, complete our idea or uh, negotiate with our uh, our idea or our terminology with uh, about daska Daskos are the painting machines that we become those by adding the object to our body. But so but like the a, thing is that us. the gloves mm -hmm. are really can hurt too because there's a pencil instead of fingers. Yeah, 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 paint 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 paint. So childhood can be something very mm -hmm. uh, painful too. For sure, yeah. yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. And speaking of Very body machine, one can see here that there's an Andy Warhol and that's what exactly he was saying. <laughs> I want to be a machine. Mm -hmm. I don't want to paint anymore, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is related yeah, to this uh, idea? You can, yeah. Yeah, you can. But why do you want to be a machine? The automatism in the surrealism. So these are all our, you know, vocabulary for working, you know, in, the, in our work, you know, it's like a... Uh, these are constantly, you know, echo in our collection, in our daily life, in our, uh, you know, okay. our practice. Mona Atum, Van Gogh back. What, how does this inspire you? First is the humor for me. You know, the humor of the, you know, to an artwork which recall a modernist male painter you know yes and uh, it's a joke no yeah. yeah i mean the simple acts you have this kind of masterpieces because yeah. uh, i think this is one of her uh fantastic fantastic work and uh, it, also, it's you know, your fantasy too you know, as a you know the muslim guys or middle eastern yeah. guys we are covered with hair you know ah, <laughs> so it, it's, like it's hair, because you know? of the religion <laughs> no no it's, no, it's, it's a genetic, genetic. genetic. <laughs> Oh, the weather. <laughs> the weather. Yeah. No, so, but yeah. Ramin is obsessed by hairs. Yeah, I, I usually have the, because I think the hairs is the, uh, for the male also nowadays, is a thing that everybody hides it or get rid of it. And the, all the time, you know, we have these discourses like uh, hijab, you know, is also about revealing or concealing the hair. You know, and uh, when you, as a Middle Eastern man, you compare yourself with the Western body, you don't, uh, you know, you have a hair, you know, so whether you should remove the hair, concealing your hair or sh showing it. You know? And so, so a, you like yeah. in your work to show the taboo, right? Yeah. And um, one of the taboos is the hair. Is the hair. Yeah. 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 Uh, also, the, another thing as, uh, you know, uh, which uh, you know fascinated us the simple performative act as a you know like a um, you know just rubbing you know or smothering a, uh, a back you know uh, is so poetic. You know? Yeah. Also, Mona Atum has this kind of poetic yeah, moments. Yeah. yeah. In all her works. James Son Thomas, yes. spiritual artist, black artist. Yes. Not so well known. No. In, I, uh, I think in his music, yeah. 
Yes, okay. Blues singer, fantastic blues piece. How too. did you How did you discover him? Um, also on our first yeah, visit, first, was, uh, yeah, it was a show in that we was a show in, in one of the museums, museums, yeah. 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 the museum, yeah. In where? Uh, in the US. Yeah. In the US. And how are you related? Outsider artists. Yeah. How are you related to him? You know, uh, each time that we have an exhibition, the way that we uh, distribute the energy and the whole, uh, uh, you know, uh, share the whole world that we live in, uh, is uh, we looking at ourselves like, a, you know, shaman, you know, the way that we distribute. Even we use some of the tricks of the, you know, indigenous, uh, you know, Persian, uh, you know, shamanism, uh, from south of Iran uh, and uh, the, uh, the whole circle of the meditative uh, uh, rituals. Mm -hmm. So our life is a kind of ritual. and uh, Your life and your art. Yeah. And this is so kind of uh, voodoo, we, right? Uh, yeah, voodoo. Yeah, voodoo, voodoo, actually. Voodoo. Yeah, voodoo. Yeah, voodoo. And he also, the way that the he actually made voodoo. them, these are unfired clays. And he actually collected the soil, the, the, the material that mud, he uses, yeah. the mud, from uh, like certain part of the Mississippi rivers uh, around y Yuzu River. And uh, he dug out and he took out the clay and he led it to, it was also a Native American technique of using these clay, yeah, clays. Yeah. Uh, it was an indigenous After the rain uh, material. They took yeah. from he was indigenous. He was no. not an ind indigenous. He was. Uh, he was. His uh, grandfathers or parents. They were slave, and then he grew up. And also, he worked a lot in the cotton fields. And this is one of the reasons he used a lot of cotton. Sometimes he passed away in the early nineties. Uh, also, yeah, you know, one of the uh, thing that he um, the grave digging and uh, some of the uh, uh, parts are real. Um, Human part. Real man, human, human yeah, part. Like so like he was. His story. job was a grave digger, beside music and singing. So he, uh, some of the stuff that he found in the grave, uh, he used it in the sculpture. In so the, the teeth sculptures. are real. Some of the hairs are real. Some and you are not parts. afraid of that? No, it's a kind of momentum, Mori. And uh, you are not afraid of death? No, the funny. Uh, you know this ambiguity. Actually, he has world, a quote yeah. also on this mm -hmm. that he says, you know, after after life, we all goes back into the clay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, uh, yeah, yeah. And also, this kind of you know, you are looking that funny thing, and inside it is a real, uh, real thing. You know, you have this duality you, know, you encounter it at the same time. You know. So what you the do is magic. And death. You know? So what you do is magic. Your art is magic. We we are we are looking, we are looking usually at working like as that, a magical yeah. uh, magic yeah. moment. But so I, like is a, it spiritual? Uh, I don't we, we can we can call it. You know, it depends. We don't. Uh, you know, we don't name it like that. But uh, you know, the way that we ritualized uh, the each the exhibition. Practice. You know, the practice. It's yeah, it's become like that. Like, uh, you know, the latest the animation, you know, when it was about the iconoclasm and when we finished it, the Black Lives Matter started and, you and know, everybody started to start breaking that, breaking uh, the, the, the icon, you know? uh, statue. So we thought that it's a magic, you know, so it's like a... Ah, you are the one at the origin of Black Lives Matter by your magic. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Merci! Oh, uh,